Uh, hi again, I'm going to talk about uh, the transfer market of 2016-17 uh, season. It's almost over um, and uh, so far uh, as far as uh, the transfer market is concerned um, Borussia Dortmund, uh, Barcelona and uh, Juventus uh, to me are, are the what, uh, you know three of the teams that looks really uh, strategically ahead of others. Um, uh, let's discuss about uh, Borussia Dortmund for a second. Uh, Dortmund has uh, spent 109.75 million uh, euro and uh, it's actually pounds, sorry. And uh, they, they got Andre Schorler from Ulfsburg, uh, Mario Goza, uh, Sebastian Roda, uh, Dembele, Goriso, Mark Bartra. Um, uh, more, uh, Emre Moore, Michael Marino, and uh, Zenis Burnich. Um, so, to me, that is pretty uh, exciting uh, and strategic buying. Um, if we are following Borussia Dortmund from last few years, they always do that. They have pretty good uh, scout team, and they find very good talent. Uh, added with uh, their current squad, um, which is really, really talented and uh, full of young guys uh, who would do wonder. Um, and that's one of the reasons Bush Dortmund um, is still one of the finest club, uh, I would say, in Europe. Um, and there's this strategy, I hope uh, they would do it, um, that would do them really well. Uh, the other team really surprised me is FC Barcelona. Um, I think they have done pretty good signings too. Um, their uh, Andre Gomes is probably the highest or highest uh, uh, transfer they've got in this season um, from Valencia. It, it seems like uh, Valencia or Sevilla are very, you know, favorite spo spot for Barcelona to get their players in. They've got some young talents uh, from, um, you know, Valencia. Uh, they've got uh, Paco Alcacer as, as a forward. forward. Um, and uh, they've got uh, Umtiti uh, as centre-back. Uh, they got rid of uh, Vermelin. Uh, and uh, they still hold on uh, Javier Mascherano and uh, uh, Jeremy Mathieu. Um, they still uh, has uh, Jordi Alba, but they have bought uh, uh, Dinier, who's a very uh, talented uh, left back or left wing back. Um, and they got back Denis Suarez, who was uh, really prolific in the last season with Villarreal. Uh, they got him back. And uh, yeah, th things look really, really good. And uh, as far as uh, the two matches have been concerned, that... Uh, Arda Turan really looked like uh, rediscovering himself, so he could be as uh, you know taken as a new signings as well. Although he played uh, last half of the season, um, and uh, Claudio Bravo leaving for Manchester City, uh, leaving Gap uh, for a goalkeeping position, and Silesen has been bought uh, by Barcelona to fill that gap. Uh, so, as far as I can see from strategic point of view, they, they're very, very well covered um, in terms of uh, uh, depth of the squad and uh, they have pretty good uh, side, very young players were bought um, and uh, it, would be, it would be fascinating to see how they will do um, and uh, the two matches that happened in La Liga, they looked to be in very good position without Anderson Iniesta was injured and uh, Neymar Jr. who was playing uh, Olympics for Brazil. Um, the other team really surprised me is uh, Juventus. Uh, they have a different strategy. They were looking for players um, with money and uh, they're looking for players who were, uh, who were, you know, not having any contract or, or you can say as a free agent like Dani Alves or uh, Pjanic um, and they got uh, Gonzalo Higuain uh, with huge uh, amount of money. I think it was, to me it was ridiculous the amount of money they paid for uh, a player like Gonzalo Higuain and I thought who would give them 
30 plus goals in a season um, uh, I you know below that money and I couldn't find any other player than Higuain uh, given that uh, Karim Benzema with uh, Real Madrid Morata is gone and uh, Juventus uh, probably eyeing for um, a very good uh, or strong position uh, or contender uh, in the Champions League so they probably are eyeing for Champions League and from that perspective Gonzalo Higo and signing does make sense and they have uh, um, so they have sold uh, Paul Pogba to Manchester United and uh, um, they got a huge sum of money of, uh, from there they have Jaka um, they got uh, uh, other players uh, as well and and I was kind of uh, impressed with that as well they they got rid of uh, Simone Zaza they still got one quadrado from Chelsea on loan two years loan which is sim sounds ridiculous but still they got it um and Danny always was free um and still they have uh you know Manzukic and Dybala in front and they have um Marquisio um and Roberto Pereira was sold to Watford um, which was kind of bizarre. I thought he's, he's a bit better player to be playing in Watford. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, Juventus looks a pretty solid team. And uh, as far as uh, Serie A is concerned, I think Inter Milan uh, are, have done um, quite well in terms of purchasing players. Gabriel Jesus, sorry, uh, Gabriel Jesus is not uh, the person. Gabigol was uh, the guy they got in. Um, and uh, Jesus was uh, sold to uh, Manchester City uh, with Pep Guardiola, is, is a very uh, talented manager and uh, known for um, hunting some young players. Who uh, got Ikai Gundogan? Uh, obviously, big news of uh, Joe Hart is leaving the camp uh, and uh, Claudio Bravo's inclusion. Um, yeah, Manchester City do look. Uh, um, on the business as well and uh, Manchester United looks to be um, you know getting the big names as uh, Ibrahimovic and uh, uh, Paul Pogba and uh, and others uh, were already there uh, it looks looks that they're kind of uh, assimilating or, or uh, getting back to their uh, position uh, um, to to at least um, challenge the contenders uh, it will be very fascinating um, league to watch for in this season we have uh, pretty renowned managers uh, from all I think one of probably the top managers are, are in the English Premier League um, um, aside from Carlo Ancelotti or, or uh, uh, Luis Enrique given their uh, record other than that, I, I think the most top top class managers are, are right now at job at English Premier League, and that would be fascinating to watch. So, guys, uh, I, I I probably have missed out um, a lot of uh, other names and a lot of other teams, but those were my picks: the three teams: uh, Juventus, uh, FC Barcelona, and Borussia Dortmund, um, and, and a bit of uh, Manchester City too. I thought they have uh, purchased. Uh, like Nolito and uh, and uh, and players uh, such as um, you know Claudio Bravo uh, and uh, and uh, Ikai Gundogan um, and Sane. Um, I think they were they're pretty uh, intelligent in market as well. So yeah, if I've missed something and you want to add something, please uh, uh, make a comment and uh, yeah, I'd be delighted to uh, share some thought. Thank you.